today's beer and game pairing, I'm going to be doing Colony 7 and a special seven year anniversary by Knee Deep called Triple IPA, seventh anniversary. This one's pretty potent, comes in about 11% alcohol. So uh, drink at your own risk. <laughs> so I actually got this about a month ago. So uh, I wanted to do this a couple weeks ago, just got too busy. But it actually turned out well because just got this game working a few days ago, thanks to my friend Chris. Uh, it goes by Tubular Gearhead on KLOE. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Give it a, give it a whiff. Smells pretty good. So I actually got this glass last year at Knee Deep at their six year anniversary. I didn't see one this year, but I got the seven year anniversary beer, so that'll work. Mmm, smells good. So you can't quite make it out, but it does say six year anniversary there. And on the other side, got knee deep. So here we go, the seven year anniversary bomber bottle and a six year anniversary uh, I don't know if I call it maybe a 10 ounce glass here so let's give this a taste mm. yeah that falls right in line with the knee deep the west coast super hot bombs this one's uh comes in pretty boozy not, not too bad on the mouthfeel for the booze, but uh, smells nice. Seven year anniversary triple IPA West Coast beer and Colony 7 by Tato. Let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay. Also another one of my favorite breweries of all time, coming out of Auburn, California, Knee Deep Brewing. This is their seventh year Anniversary Triple IPA coming in at 11% alcohol. Total West Coast Hop Bomb. And pairing it with Colony 7. Colony 7 by Tato from 1981. Actually has a pretty complicated control panel for the time. Most games were either joystick only or maybe one button, two buttons max, with the exception of games like Defender. I'll go ahead and cut to the few things that I did after getting it back from my buddy Chris. Just a few little things to tidy up the machine. Okay, so here we are with Colony 7. Cabinet's in pretty decent shape for how old it is. Pretty rare game. Uh, one thing I did notice though here on the cord it's got the ground plug, but it looks kind of messed up here. I don't really trust that for using too much. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this up and we'll put a new plug on it. The other thing too here is uh, on the lock, the key here. It doesn't seem to work too well with the key I've got that came with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap out and put a new key on here. I'll cut back to when I got it on there. Another thing I just wanted to add real quick on the Colony 7 here is uh, just doing some notes on the the tools I typically use. So to get in here we have uh, we're gonna need a crescent wrench to get in there and unthread that and then some cutters to clean this up. Just a few basic tools here Cutters, screwdriver, side cutters, crescent wrench, and wire stripper. So I'll go ahead and cut to when I get some 
updates on this. Okay, one more thing here I wanted to note on the Colony 7 and most of the cabinets when I get them in. <clears throat> once they're working first, uh, I try to get a few little things that are kind of nice touches. Um, you know, like getting the coin door uh, lock working, making sure the plug here, as you can see I stripped the edges, started to prep it. Uh, don't forget to put the housing up on here before you attach this part. And then the other thing I wanted to note was uh, usually a crescent wrench will work in here, but because it's so tight, I actually have to use a socket on this. So a socket there. And then this too, uh, the coin door lights. So you know it says 25 cents here. Um, they're incandescent bulbs. One's missing. The other one, not sure if it's working yet or not. We'll check that when we fire it up. But I do want to uh, swap them out with these LEDs. So they're brighter, uh, last longer. Okay, making a little bit of progress here. Got these all wired up in here now. Tied them in. Gonna button this up, attach it, put it back together. And then we got the lock here. Took a bit of work to get it going because I had to put a little notch in here for it to fit inside, up in here for it to fit. So eh, I scuffed it up a little bit there, but it actually works now. Bit of wiggling. There we go. So it turns out this key that was on that lock actually fits this lock down here to get into the flame box. So that just comes off like that. And coin box. Colony 7. Okay, so we got the plug here, got it all attached, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here in a second. Okay, I got it plugged in, and here we go. Marquee's lit up, game lit up, and let's take a look here. Where's the keys? Okay. No free play on this, I believe. So we can just hit this to coin up. So, and as I suspected, neither one of the coin door lights up, bulbs out. That one's missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out, and we'll. See if we get it working. And voila. Put in the LEDs. And they look really bright, kind of white, blue-white color here on this side, but it's actually pretty dark. So I look out like this. If I can color adjust a little bit. It looks great though, they light up real nice. So there we go. A few little modifications to kind of clean it up, get it ready, and now we can go ahead and play a game. Actually this game looks a little bit like Missile Command, except for it's not a trackball, it's an eight-way joystick. You're protecting your base down here, and then you're moving this character around to attack the other fighting UFOs. So let's go ahead and coin up. Press fire to start. Oh. We just gotta keep flying around with these guys. And the other two buttons is like a super bomb. But I couldn't really tell the difference between the two. Maybe one has a smaller impact zone. A little larger. 
As you can see, moving this joystick around really shakes the machine. Missile command, the trackball would be moving a bit smoother. So I'm going to do the, the bomb. Yeah, so it has a smaller range. See if I can get to the next level. bases. So there's a shield across the bottom that they just keep attacking through. I believe there's unlimited fire. You just keep on firing. Game over. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot again. This is a pretty hard game, by the way. Just have stuff that just keeps attacking your shields there. shooting like crazy. Oh, there we go. Made it past the level. I have no idea if there's bosses. I think it's just this constant onslaught. Level after level. That was the big bomb that blows everything up on the whole screen. I believe you only get one of those per level. I'm all out of everything. Just the fire button. getting sore playing this, yanking this joystick. shooter. Your hand will cramp up on this joystick. A little stubby eight-way. Made it past the level. Looks like it, the fighters are counting down as you shoot them. 30 fighters, what you start out with. Jeez. Ah. Brutal. Game over. All right. So there we have it. Knee Deep, seven year anniversary, triple IPA, West Coast style. 
and Colony 7. Cheers, everyone.